He'll disappear behind us, pop up and come right back into the acro box. We've been talking about this aerobatic box. Let's explain just a little bit of it. If you look out there to the runway that we cannot use anymore or can't use right now, the right side of the runway is one line. The opposite end of the of the runway there, the the furthest edge that we can see out here is the cat cat two line for the F-18, the F-22. The reason for the separation is to keep you, the audience, safe. Thanks to our friends at the International Council of Air Shows, they have developed a standard and a procedure to do just that, to keep American air shows the safest in the world. It is all about safety, and we're happy to have the president of the International Council of Air Shows walking around today. Mr. John Cudahy is here, so thank you to him. Now let's turn our attention to Joe Anderson as he makes his entrance from the right in the L-39, part of Team Shar, retired Major General Joe Anderson. Joe's a native of Detroit, Michigan, and after graduating from Catholic Central High School, he was nominated to attend the United States Naval Academy just up the road there in Annapolis, Maryland, where he majored in engineering. As a midshipman, he played varsity baseball and was proud to have graduated in the 90th percentile of his class of 1968. He was then commissioned a second lieutenant in the United States Marine Corps, where he had a stellar career, retiring as a major general. What a guy, Joe. A terrific performer and a, a, a real honor to have him here. This is the cool thing, though, about having a retired general on your team if you're Art Knowles. You have a guy that really knows how to fly. Look at the hands on Joe Anderson as he comes by here. That jet is just rock solid on a flat high-speed pass. General Anderson actually graduated from the U.S. Navy Test Pilot School right here in Pax River with over 1,500 total flying hours, including combat time, in the F-4 Phantom. Served his country well, flying the F-4. Did a great job there, both at home and abroad. Now he's going to demonstrate something that a lot of aviators enjoy doing. That is the always impressive four-point hesitation roll. So what is that? Well, he's going to stop the jet at four very distinct points during this aileron roll. So he's going to roll the airplane and he's going to stop it at four points, sort of divide it into little slices of pie. Let's watch him as he pulls up for the pitch and starts the roll. Now the Sea Harrier that you see down in front is something that is near and dear to Joe Anderson. He actually flies the Sea Harrier when he can pry Art Knowles up out of the cockpit. I watched him fly the Sea Harrier into Culpepper's air show a few weeks ago, and uh, Joe really does a nice job with that airplane. But right now he's truly at home in the L-39. He says his favorite airplane is whichever one he's flying right now. So at this moment, it is the L-39. Here he comes again from the left. Now that has to be one of the most awesome barrel rolls we've seen at this air show. Up and over the top, it's sort of a loop and a roll combined. There's really only two things you can do with an airplane. You can loop it, and you can roll it. That particular maneuver requires the skill set of both at the same time. It's a loop and a roll all combined into one. Now 
we're going to watch as General Joe brings it back for another high speed, low level pass. The L39, the Albatross, a popular military trainer, and now a great sport jet here in the United States and abroad. There was the pass, here's the pull. And check it out, he turns it into an old fashioned slow aileron roll. Like us on Facebook there. It's facebook.com slash airshow by request. Johnny wrote in earlier today, said, hey, wanted to see another photo pass by the L39. Get a good picture of General Joe. So listen, Johnny, we're going to make that happen for you. Here comes the photo pass from the left here. Again, if you'd like to uh, send us a message here in the announcer stand, we'd love to see it. Facebook.com slash airshow by request. Give it a like and, uh, well, send us a message. Here he comes for Johnny from the left. How's that for a Top Gun tribute? Coming right by the control tower. Retired Major General Joe Anderson at the L-39. Well, do you hear that? That's the sound of a Ferrari and a Lamborghini. You can see them down there on the far right side of the field, racing around the track. That's friends, uh, our friends here at Precision Exotics do a nice job racing these cars. And you can go for a ride in the Ferrari or in the Lamborghini, should you choose to. Eric and the entire team there, Precision Exotics, are set up down here on the right side of the field. Here comes the Lamborghini. Look at this. The top is down. Oh, my goodness. What a perfect day to go take the Lamborghini for a spin. There's Eric coming back in with a happy customer down there in the, in the other seat. Now, listen, if you're 18 years or older, you can drive either the Lamborghini or the Ferrari. They'll actually let you drive it. If you're younger, you can go for a ride with one of the professional drivers down there. But how cool is that? Talk about a Sunday drive if you'd like to take the Ferrari for a spin or the Lamborghini. Make it happen today, why don't you? General Joe is uh, set up for the trap. We have a lot of stuff coming up, including Charlie Vanderbosch and the Geico Sky Typers, all still to come as the 2016 Air Expo continues right here in Pax River.